hi there. And today we're going to do a classic, the roast. And I'm going to be using a whole rangatiki chicken for this recipe. And we're going to serve it with some fantastic uh, roasted vegetables, a whole array of what you've got here. And this is just an absolute classic dish and easy to prepare. You can throw it in the oven, forget about it, invite all your friends and family around and just enjoy it. You'll need a whole rangatiki chicken, butcher's twine, oil, some salt and pepper, some thyme, garlic. For the roast vegetables, you'll need two carrots, two swedes, two onions, a leek, 12 garlic cloves, eight small potatoes, 50 grams of butter, and two parsnips. For the sauce, you'll need 500 ml veal stock, 100 ml white wine, and a little thyme. So look at this beautiful chicken, nice and plump. These chickens are corn fed. That's why you've got this beautiful yellow color all over the bird, the free range. You get to roam around all day, scratching and pecking, a happy as Larry, these birds, and a beautiful flavor as well. So we're just gonna pat dry the chicken so the skin's nice and dry. We're gonna leave it overnight to dry out extra, get it extra dry in the fridge, and that's the secret of a good roast. It's gonna be dry, it's gonna go golden, crispy, beautiful. So we're just gonna tie it up. Just gonna cut a little bit of string. And this is called trussing. So we're just gonna go around the back of the wings, tuck the wings in. So we're tying it for the presentation and to make it cook evenly, you know? We're gonna lift it all off the ground and it's gonna get nice and juicy. And there you go, look at that. It's raw, but it looks fantastic already. So our next stage, we need to get all the vegetables ready. So I've chosen these vegetables because they're all gonna cook at similar times. And we might have to cut a few a little bit smaller and a little bit larger, depending on the vegetables, so they all cook together. So the onions, so I'm gonna use one white, one red. And we just peeled them. What's well, the most important thing about an onion is you've gotta leave the core on. So we leave the core on and it's not gonna fall apart when we roast it. Gonna use a red onion as well. And now for the kuma. And then one of the most important ingredients for a roast, potatoes. Throw it straight on the tray. Next, garlic. And then some nice herbs through it as well. I'm gonna put a little bit more thyme on top. And we're just gonna make a little well to put our chicken in. So now we're just gonna place, place the chicken on top. So we're just gonna a little bit of oil on top of the chicken. So that's gonna help the color. And we're gonna put some little bit of oil around on the vegetables. So our key part to the roast, soft butter. And we're just gonna massage that on top of the breast. And then the, all the butter's gonna go into the chicken as well and make it even more buttery. And that's it. So we're gonna start off at 230 degrees in the oven for 25 minutes. We're gonna reduce the temperature to 190 and then cook it for another 40, 45 minutes. And then the most important thing is when it comes out of the oven, we have to rest it. So look at this, absolutely amazing. It's just gonna be packed full of flavor. And especially this chicken being corn fed, free range, it's gonna be so juicy, you can just you just see it, you see the juice oozing out of it. It's just, and the smell, the smell is just absolutely fantastic. Right, so for our sauce, so just a little bit of white wine, and we're just gonna bring that to the boil, just to get rid of the alcohol, and then we're gonna put the stock in, and we're just gonna reduce that down so it's a nice light sauce. So in the meantime, whilst the chicken's resting, we'll dish up our vegetables. <laughs> So the wine's come to the boil, so we've just got a nice, nice veal stock there. So we're just gonna pour a little bit of that in. So that's just gonna be the base for our sauce. Right, so whilst that's reducing, we're gonna carve the chicken up. And all these juices you can see in here, like this is packed full of flavor. So we're just gonna stir, stir that around. So there's a little bit of butter in there, there's the roasted juices from the chicken, and there's a little bit of fat as well, packed full of flavor. And we're just gonna, when we get the sauce down to consistency, we're just gonna add a few spoons of that in, and that's just gonna lift the whole sauce. So right, now we're gonna carve the chicken. So we'll just take the string off, first of all, so we don't, no one gets that. It's beautiful rangatike chicken, like you can smell that. And I can't wait to tuck into this. You know, this just, it's just gonna taste like chicken should. You know, and these, these birds, free range, 
They live on the farm, they have a happy life, and they come straight from the farm, straight into the supermarket, and straight for you to cook. So beautiful, fresh, tasty, fantastic product. So first of all, just gonna cut down on the legs. Just break them off. Cut under the bone, beautiful. And then the wings, just gonna take the wing, you know, just, just roughly, so I'm gonna put a breast in there. So we've got another breast, a nice leg, a few of the wings and the other leg. Fantastic. We've got our sauce now. And then we're just gonna put one, two, maybe three spoons in there. Stir it around, just give it a taste. Beautiful meaty roasted flavor in there. Just gonna finish it, a little bit of salt, tiny bit of pepper, just last minute. A few sprigs of thyme. We're going to keep it nice and light, and we're just going to spoon a little bit over the chicken. So there you have it, whole roast rangatiki chicken with roasted vegetables. Absolutely beautiful. So if you want to have a bash at this at home, go to the website foodtv.co.nz or rangatikichicken.co.nz.